Thanks for joining us. Oh, look how pretty uh, Yana's little birdhouse is. She had that really high, she used to have a birdhouse super high in a tree. Remember that? Okay, so I'm glad we got the champs here because this is going to be a little hard, I think. <laughs> I don't know why I did this. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> maybe we'll say, oh, that wasn't so bad. Um, but this class is hard. And then my kettlebell class at nine, I thought, man, I hope those people are eating their Wheaties this morning. They're going to need their Wheaties. Hi, Yana. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. We're going to get started. Yana, I don't know if you heard me, but I was saying I'm glad the champs are here because this is going to be a challenging class. <laughs> but we'll stick it. We'll get through it together and uh, we'll feel awesome after. Okay, so we're going to start yeah. out with planks. Here, will you help with the camera, Gary? We're going to start in just a regular linear plank. So facing the ground on your on your uh, elbows and we're going to do 30 seconds on 15 seconds off so we're going to have a two to one work ratio uh we've been doing that a little bit lately but uh we haven't had totally two to one i don't think all right so let's get started in just a few seconds and we're going to go through a lot of planks with very little rest in a very short time so let's start five seconds four three two one, hold your plank and now your first plank of the day. Let's just check in on all your body parts. So where are your elbows, where are your fists? Hopefully fists aren't touching each other. Fists are uh, in alignment with your elbows. Elbows are right underneath your shoulders. Knees are tight and locked. Hips are totally flexed, butt is tight. That's what's enabling your hips to totally flex. You're almost there, almost there. Rest, okay, shake it off for 15 seconds. And now we're gonna do our linear hover, but we're gonna do alternating arms. So we're gonna do the alternate arms. Okay, you got five seconds, four, three, two, one. All right, at your own pace, alternate arms. And be very aware when you lift your arm that your hips don't sway left to right. Make sure sometimes you have to kind of extra squeeze the opposing side of your butt to make sure that doesn't happen. Almost there. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. 15 seconds off. We're gonna do legs. Opposite legs rising. And remember, it's your butt. It's your butt that's moving the legs. You're gonna tighten your butt and extend your hip, ready? Get in your hover, alt legs. And remember, you can always go back to your regular hover. If you get really tired, you can always go back to our hip rocking too. But I don't think you guys need to. Keep that butt nice and tight. Keep that belly nice and tight. Almost there. You guys know what's next, five seconds, four, Three, two, one. 15 seconds off. Whew, we're gonna do alt arms legs. So we're gonna do opposite arm leg at the same time. Once again, your body's gonna wanna shift from left to right. Okay, let's get up there. In your hover, establish your hover. Alternate arm leg. Whew. Alternate arm leg. Oh, let's see. Oh, not now, Butsy. Not now, Butsy. You got 10 more seconds. Six seconds. Bless you. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Whew. All right, 15 seconds. We're back to our linear hover. Same old linear hover, no arms, legs. And now 
I want you to remember to focus on creating lots and lots and lots of tension. Back to hover. Go back and check in on all your body parts again. Remember to try to pull your toes up to your elbows. So you're kind of trying to pull your body together. It's not really gonna to pull together. You're gonna to create all kinds of tension in your belly. Exactly what we're looking for. Whew. Remember to push up through your shoulders. Don't let your shoulders droop down. Shoulders up. I should say scapula. Almost there. Rest. All right, 15 seconds. We're going back to that linear hover. I told you guys this was gonna be hard. <laughs> All right, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Linear hover, pull those elbows down to those toes. Create tension everywhere in your fists, in the front of your legs, in the vault. <laughs> With your butt nice and tight, and your hips nice and extended, and your belly braced. You got five more seconds, three, two, one. All right, on to arms. We're gonna do two rounds of arms. This is rough, you guys. <laughs> Ooh, I think I made it, maybe gave us some extra rest there. Sorry, I don't think anyone's gonna complain. <laughs> All right, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Raise the opposite arm. Sorry, one arm, we're just doing one arm at a time. One arm. Almost there, 15 more seconds. Remember to make sure your belly's nice and tight this whole time. You're still trying to kind of pull your body together. Your elbows to your knees, you're almost there. You got five more seconds. Three, two, one. 15 seconds off and we're back to arms. Oh my God, that's hard. <laughs> it's not helpful for me to whine. <laughs> Four seconds, three, two, one, alternate arms. Almost there, actually no, 20 seconds, sorry. Going delirious. Try not to start going faster. I just noticed I was just going faster. It's not about number of reps. It's about how much tension you're creating. Almost there, five seconds, four, three, two, one, no shame in holding your linear hover, hover as you get more fatigued. I certainly did just now. Whew, almost there. Five seconds, we're moving on to legs. Three, two, one, alternating legs. Keep checking your belly. Keep checking your body parts. You're creating lots of tension, even in your fists. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Hip rock. You should be doing this, Gary. You, you of all people should be doing this. <laughs> Four seconds, back to legs in three, two, one. We're almost there, we're on the home stretch. I'm not gonna say there's no planks after this, but we're gonna get a little bit of a breather. Remember, don't start going faster. I just noticed that in myself. The point is lots of tension, not number of reps. It's also not how high you lift your leg. Just lift it, rest. Whew, I shake my arms out, so we're gonna do opposing arms, legs. Arm, one arm, one leg at the same time. So we got two more sets, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Hold it, alternate arm leg, Whew. Alternate arm leg. Fifteen more seconds. Uh. 
Five more seconds, almost there. Keep that butt down. I can feel my butt wanting to rise, rest. One more round. Whew. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Hold your hover, alternate arm leg. Now I'm really feeling tired. Alternate arm leg. Good, we're almost there. This is now the home stretch for sure. We have 10 more seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Whew. Let's take a nice one minute breather. Carrie, we help with the camera. I know my shoulders and my lats are really letting me know about that one. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move on to lateral planks in just a minute. We still have a good 40 seconds off here. We're gonna move to lateral planks. So you just pick a side, we're gonna hold it, and then we're gonna do reps. Whew. That was hard. <laughs> that was a wake up for sure. Okay, so just remember everything about the lateral plank is the same as the linear plank. One thing to really keep in mind, I don't know if you could see it, but when you're in a lateral plank, what I see a lot of people do when I used to be able to go to a gym is that they'd fold at their waist. So folding is what makes it easier. We don't want it easier. We want it to be, to work the way it's supposed to work. We want our butt to be nice and tight. Hips are totally extended, including that bottom hip. And we're gonna be up high in our lat on our lateral hover. So let's start in five seconds, four, three, two, one. All right, keep this other arm stacked above your bottom shoulder. So top shoulder and bottom shoulder should be stacked in alignment going up to the ceiling. That's why it helps me to raise my arm. It's not necessary, but I don't want to crunch over. That lower side of your belly, the side closest to the ground, you should be feeling a crunch in there. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna lower and raise 10 times. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold it, hold it, hold it. All right, other side. Whew. Got 15 seconds here, a little more than 15 seconds. Gary, what are you doing? I'm selling these things, gotta pull them out. Oh God. <laughs> I hate when Gary rummages through closets. It really bothers me. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds on. Remember, butt nice and tight. Make sure that those hips are straight, not folded back. 20 more seconds. Keep that top shoulder stacked on the bottom shoulder. 50 seconds. Nine. Five, four, three, two, one. Up and down 10 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Whew, Gary, yeah. come over here. I don't see anyone else. Whew, I'm just shaking it off with some little rolls because we're going to do it one more time per side. All right. All right. Get ready in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. 30 second hold. Got to pet my butsy. <laughs> Come on. This is the last time we're going to do it. Hold it up high. Hold it up. Try to push through your lat. Don't let your shoulder droop down. Remember, don't fold in the hips. You got 15 more seconds. We're almost there. 
And we got a lot to do. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Up and down ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. All right, rest. Other side. What you got there, buds? Whew. I'm just doing some half-hearted rolling because I'm too tired to really roll. <laughs> just shaking it off a little. All right. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, hover. Last time, last side. Nice and strong. Keep that fist on the ground. Tightly clenched. Remember, it's all about compression. It's all about pressure. It's all about creating a brace, a bracing feeling everywhere. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Ten times up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Whew. All right, now let's really roll it out. All right, we're gonna do something a little new and experiment with this. We're gonna do a downward dog and then pull one of our legs forward. And in doing so, what we're gonna have to do is really squeeze our belly and get kind of our midsection up high, our butt. Let's say if this is the downward dog, we're gonna have to squeeze, squeeze up, squeeze our belly, and then get that leg up without having to move our hands, without having to go around. Gary, I'm gonna need you to help me with the camera. Make sure you can see this. Okay, let's just do a little bit more rolling. Get through our rolls. That was hard work, very hard work. That Gary should have participated. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a downward dog. I don't know which way I should do this. Be like that. Downward dog. And what I'm going to do, I can be on my toes and I'm going to try to squeeze my belly as tight as I can to move my leg up and then push it down. And I'm going to squeeze my belly, pull my leg up. Okay? So let's do it. How many did I say? We're going to do six times per side. So six times on one side, six times on the other side. That's all we're gonna do. Okay, now we're done. Here we are. Step up, down. When I step, when I step back and down, I put my heels back down. Back to your toes. Step up, down. Four more. On your tiptoes, step up. Pull your leg up, down. This is number four. Step up, pull your leg down. Step up. I think that's five. Well, we'll do one more just for good measure. There you go. Let's give it a little breather before doing the other side. Get off your arms a little bit because that was a lot of planks in the beginning. Whew, okay. Back to downward dog, on your tiptoes, squeeze your belly up, push your leg forward. You might find that this is a lot easier on one side than the other. Maybe not. Pull that leg up. Whew. Four more on your toes. Pull that leg up. All right, you got three more on your toes. Pull that leg up. Two more on your toes, pull the leg up. Whew. One more time, I think. <laughs> Bad at counting. Pull the leg up. Good, all right. Let's just rock it up. We're gonna do dead bug now. I think you guys probably know what dead bug is. But it's gonna give us a little break off our arms, but not a break in our midsection. 
So we're gonna get on the ground. Get it confused. Get on the ground. And the point here is I wanna make sure my lower back doesn't come up. See how, oh, let's see, go. See how I can get my fingers all the way through on my lower back? We wanna make sure there's no space there. So think about there being a little bug there that you gotta get, right? So you're gonna squeeze your belly, embrace your belly so that your lower back touches the floor the whole time. It's more challenging the lower your legs get to keep that back on the floor. Sorry, back, back on the floor. So that's the whole purpose of this exercise. Keep that lower back glued to the floor. And the slower you do this, the harder. We're not gonna do it super slow, but we're not gonna do it super fast either. So alternate arm, leg goes down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Gary, why'd you turn the humidifier off if you're gonna all the noise? There's two noise. Well, you're much more noisy. <laughs> 14, I think, 15, 16, sorry you guys, <laughs> 17, 18, 19. He's just 45 20. pound height. Yes, like, daily, 22. I get you now. Nope, 24. I don't want one of those metal ones. 26, 27, we're doing 50. Remember your knees are locked, 30, 31, we're doing 50, 32, you don't need 33. To Gary, 34, yeah. Do you use this? 37, 38, 39, I thought I broke 40, this 41, 42, 43, 44. No, I bought it. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Whew. Knees to chest. I know Betsy girl. I know Betsy girl. All right, we're going to do some old school now. Old school, one leg crosses over the other, hands behind head, and what you're gonna do is cross over, try to get your elbow beyond your knee, not touching your knee, beyond on the outside of your knee. So we're gonna do that 25 times per side. So let's start, one, two, three, four, five, six, Gary, you gotta stop, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, other side, one, Remember, beyond your knee, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. All right, shake it off. Whatever you need to roll. I put my knees up to my chest. After this one, it feels kind of better to roll side to side. But rolling up and down is always good too. Okay, we're gonna do our crab elbow to knee now. I don't know if you guys remember this one, but we're gonna be in a little crab position. We're gonna have one arm behind our head. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. Try not to droop in that shoulder that's on the ground. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 25, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Woo. Shake it out however you need to. And we gotta do the other side so we don't walk out of here crooked. 
I told you this was gonna be hard. <laughs> okay, booty girl. Just seeing what's next, I'm scared. Okay, elbow up behind your head in crab position. And we're gonna do 25, let's, uh, let's count down. 25, 24, 23, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew. Okay, roll it out. I know, Blitzy girl. Roll it out. Okay, we're more than half done, you guys. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna do some hip rocking to kind of reset a little bit. Breathe, move my neck. Hopefully you don't have any neck strain. Make sure you're breathing through your belly into your diaphragm. Breathe, moving your neck while you're breathing. Also moving your eyes. So when I turn my head up using my neck to the ceiling, I'm also, also looking up as high as I can with my eyes, looking to the side with my eyes. Whew, that was hard. All right, we're gonna do a scapular push up. So I'm gonna show you from here. We're gonna do a scapular push up. So we're just gonna be in here. The elbows never bend, right? We're just gonna do a scapular push up and then we're gonna do a real push up and then we're gonna go to a T position. I know you guys, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, four scapular push-ups. Remember, everything from your shoulders to your feet is a hover. Belly's tight, my belly's feeling it right now. That was two, I think. Three, four. Now I'm gonna do a real push-up with my little booty in my way. And then I'm gonna go to a T. Whew. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I'm gonna reach through my T and up. Back to the center. Scapular push up. One, two, three, four. Real push up. T. Reach through the T and back up. Push up, oops, sorry, hit the mic. Back to rocking. Rock it out. We're gonna do that a couple times here. That's hard, okay. Let's see, back to scapular push up. Four, three, two, one, now just a regular push up. Back to T. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it up high, try to push that hip, whatever hips it's towards the sky, the ceiling, push it up, push it up further. Brace on that left side. Back to push up. Four scapular push ups. One, two, three, four. Skip, sorry, T. T, 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 T. Reach through. Back up to T and hold it. Push that hip to the sky, but don't let your rib cage pop out. Belly's still braced. Back to rocking it out. Whew. Got one more time. Actually, no, I lied. Two more times to do that. Wait. One more time, one more time per side. Sorry. I'll be curious to know what you guys think after this because I think it's pretty challenging. Okay, back up to scapular push up. Remember, we're at a hover. Hover from the shoulders down. Belly's tight, knees are locked, hips are extended. Four scapular push ups. Four, three, two, 
One, now one real push up. Now T, hold it, hold it, hold it. Reach through, through your T. Back up and hold, 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 hold. Back to T push up. Scapular push up, four, three, two, one. Regular push up. Back to T. Reach through, reach up. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Get that, push that hip up, push it up. All right, back to regular push up and rock it out. Whew. That was not easy, you guys. We're gonna go back to the T push up very briefly here. Very quickly, we're just gonna do some reach through. So we're gonna get in that T position and we're gonna reach through on both sides 10 times. And then that's it for your push ups. Then we're off your arms. Today, unless you wanna walk on handstands everywhere for the rest of the day. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go maybe this ankle. So I'm gonna get in my push up position and then I'm gonna go to my T. And once I'm, I'm in my T, I'm gonna reach through 10 and up, nine and up, eight, up, seven, up, six, up, five, up, four, up, three, up, two. Remember your butt's tight the whole time here. One. Hold it, hold it, almost there. All right, rest. Other side. Because we use it to garden. You do use it regularly? Yes. All right. Whew. Other side, we're gonna get in our regular push-up. T, T push-up. And we're gonna do 10, nine, eight. Butt's tight this whole time. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Yay. We're off our arms now. <clears throat> off our arms. We're just gonna do some runner's lunges and that's it. That's all. We've done a lot. Whew, I'm sweating. All right, but you got something wrong. I had to get it. Driving me nuts. Okay. All right. Here you have the camera. It's mostly flooring. Okay. Shake out your arms. This is gonna be hard. I feel like this is gonna be more challenging on my legs because my arms are tired. Because a part of this runner's lunge, which we've done before, is the arms. Pumping the arms is critical, it's crucial. Okay, so I'm gonna do it from the side. I'm gonna go all the way down. I have my kickboxers do that. Like I'm in a, gonna pose for a magazine. And I'm gonna go up for one. Hold it. Down again, up for two. Um, up for three. Up for four. We're doing 10. Up, sorry, down, up for five. Six. Seven. Almost there. Eight. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Two more. Nine. One more, 10. Hold it, hold it. It's always easier without shoes, I think. Shake it off. We got one more leg to do. And then we can start wrapping it up. 
Okay. Other leg. I'm gonna stay from the side again. Get down. For one. Down. Two. Down. Three for up. Four. Five. Over the hump, we're at six. We got four more. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Yay, good job. Shake it out. Let your arms kind of flop. I know my arms want to flop. <laughs> Interlace your fingers behind your back and open up your chest. It's okay to let your rib cage raise up now. Open up your chest and breathe. We did a lot of stuff into, in this position. So open up your chest, breathe. Here, put the screen. Get down in a little sumo squat. Use your elbows to push your knees apart. It always feels good to me. And let's, let's try to stretch our shoulders a little. I'm not great at this, but what I'm gonna do is reach to one side. My other arm's gonna go around and grab my other arm. I'm gonna hold this position and breathe and just move my head around. I'll do it from the other side next time. On the other side. Okay. Rest on that side. I'm gonna turn around so you can see on the back. So here I am in my squat. I'm gonna reach through, grab my arm. Just kind of look around and breathe. Stretch those arms and open the shoulders up. After all that stuff, it feels really good. All right, release. There you go. That was it. <laughs> I hope you guys had fun with that. I need to do less complaining, I think. Thank you. Thank you. How'd you like it? It was good. It was, it was good. brutal. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, it's good. I, feel like I, I know I need to develop more strength in my arms, especially with the push-ups. And it's yeah, I need it. Just, thank you. You're welcome. It's interesting that like we only really did like maybe six push-ups, but it's hard, right? When you do all that holding, yeah, all that yeah. holding and all that bracing, and then all like if you went and told someone, "Hey, I did six pull-up push-ups," and now. My arms are too sore. They'd be like, wow, <laughs> but it's a lot of work, right? Standing, staying still in all these positions is harder than just cranking out reps. Yeah, so, my, yeah. my elbow hurt like in that sideway position, like my elbow hurt like, uh, you know, the mat was too hard, but I have yoga mat and towel on top of it, but it's oh. too hard. So. Create some tension. Is it your elbow like in here, like this part no, of your elbow? Just, uh, you know, just pressing to the floor. Was oh, the floor. oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm so all right. It does help. It, it seems strange, but it does help to actually create friction in your hands to help your elbow. Yeah, for yeah, so, some way to yeah, my, my forearm probably, yeah. Yeah, because like if you want to try an experiment, if you just create a fist and create as hard and strong as a fist as you can, you feel that tension here, but it will begin irradiating elsewhere. It really yeah. does. So like in kettlebells, when people hold it a kettlebell in the rack position with a straight wrist, sometimes I see people like this, this is relaxed. Now I have a heavy weight on my forearm and it hurts. It'll begin to hurt, it'll bruise. But if I create tons of pressure and tension and really brace that hand out, this is like a, a brick wall now, right? But it's, that's very counterintuitive. 
a lot of people are like, oh, this hurts. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna relax a little, but we need to create, you know, build a shield when we're doing that kind of stuff. So that might, that might be part of it, Yana. Just think right. about your fists. Often whatever hurts, you need to think about something else, not what's hurting. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. But thank you guys. Yeah. I hope you have an awesome weekend. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Oh, and beautiful. Thank you. Hot. You too. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.